Suez Canal, lifeline of Europe, in a dramatic sequence of events, became a cause of war. When President Abdul Nasser announced its seizure by Egypt, thrust, Israeli troops struck down the Sinai Peninsula to within a few miles of the canal itself. Within days, Egyptian forces were completely routed. The stage was set for the next move in the complex Suez situation. Britain and France, after a short ultimatum, in a joint sea and air invasion, attacked following a preliminary air bombardment. From a staging area on Cyprus, airborne troops quickly followed and established a beachhead at the entrance to the canal. They were followed by seaborne contingents which swiftly controlled the Mediterranean end of the vital waterway. The debris and chaos of bombing greeted the Anglo-French forces as they entered the conquered cities. But even as the occupation proceeded, world opinion against the invasion was mobilized. At the United Nations, the invasion was branded aggression and a ceasefire ordered. To implement the decision, Secretary General Doug Hammarskjöld flew to Egypt for preliminary negotiations. Emerging from the crisis, which for a time threatened world peace, the United Nations Emergency Police Force was born. Hastily assembled, it was jubilantly welcomed as it took up its task in Egypt. With this decisive action, the UN had merited the confidence of President... In the past, the United Nations has proved able to find a way to end bloodshed. We believe it can and that it will do so again. 